What is going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ellie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our very first episode of Rally Roots Reviews. Reviews. In this series, we're going to be reviewing products, services, guides, pretty much anything that we want to review that we feel like you guys would be interested in. Yeah, we're going to review things that not only have simplified our lives, but people ask us how we streamline and not waste time on other things, but they might simplify your life. Right. So helpful things. And not just stuff about reselling. We want right. to review everything. So like in this episode, for our first episode, we're going to be reviewing a robotic vacuum. Yep. It is the D-Bot brand N79 series. So Allison had a Roomba vacuum and that one kind of broke. Yeah, the spinning brush finally stopped spinning. But it was old. How old was that thing? That thing was from Australia. Oh, so like six, seven years old? Seven years old. <sighs> six and a half years old would wow. be safe to say. So the Roomba did really well, and now Allison found this new vacuum that is, it's a cheaper price for sure, yeah. um, but we bought it to test it out and see how it would work. And you got it on Amazon, right? Got it on Amazon because there was a slick deals alert in my inbox cool. and it said $60 off. So how much did it come out to then? I think it came out to $160. Nice. By the way, guys, if you want to check out the vacuum, I will link it in the description of this video. That way you can go to Amazon and check it out and buy it if you want to. Yeah. And the reason it was $60 off was because they came out with a newer model. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. So the vacuum is here now. We're going to go do the unboxing. So we'll flash over to show you guys what the packaging looks like and what's inside it and talk about the vacuum a bit. And then we'll test out some features and then come back and then we'll tell you guys our experience with the vacuum for a week. Yep. To the unboxing. Ooh. All right, so this is what it comes with, everybody. An extra filter. Two of these will go on it, and then it has an extra pair to change it out with. We have our power cord and our dock. Cleaning tool, and last but not least, the remote with batteries. Pretty classy, I appreciate that, thank you. And obviously your quick start guides and your other guides, and the unit itself. Bam. <laughs> It does come with the vacuum. These just clip right in. The Roomba had a screw, but these clip. And there's two of them. Does it have Wi-Fi? What is that? Yeah. Looks like Wi-Fi. Is this where all the filth goes? Guys, I'm not technologically savvy, and it has a remote. You're a remote. <laughs> oh, oh, there's pictures. <laughs> Plug it in. Put on the brushes. Switch it to on. Oh wow, that is really basic. Let it charge for four hours, and we can control it here oh wow that's it that's it that's it oh, oh there's an app and the app that's right i picked one that came with an app so we get their app register we add our robot <laughs> add a robot i'm gonna name it and then bam look at it go sweet you just tell it what to do nice allison's getting glitter to test it with uh you better work if you don't pick up this glitter i'm gonna be mad at you <laughs> Ooh, it's like in the cracks Lychee, don't eat that all right babe that's not big glitter that glitter is never gonna come up. uh no. All right, glitter the dog. Oh no! Gosh, don't glitter the dog. Oh, no. Get your robot. All right, robot. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, it's so quiet. It's super quiet. Go get the glitter. Go that way. Is it picking up the glitter? Where are you going? Clean the glitter. Tell it to clean the glitter. All right, we can push play. Do I have to? Connect. Oh, oh, it's connected. Oh, I can control it with this. No way. Like a. Oh my God, watch. Turn right. What? Turn I want right. to try. <laughs> Turn right. Oh, this is cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you clean that glitter up. It looks like it's cleaning the glitter, guys. That's really good news for me. Really good news for me. Oh, this is fun. It's like a video game. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. Glad. It got all the glitter, but there's like gross dog hair in it already. Oh. oh, wow. Look at all the glitter though. Oh. It got the glitter. That's impressive. There's the filter. Dang. Cool. The Roomba didn't go on the carpet, so let's see if the D-Bot goes on from the hardwood floors onto the carpet, unlike the Roomba. Oh! Oh, it oh, did it! Oh my gosh! It did it! It seems to be working. Working! I guess it's just gonna clean. All right, you go clean the house. 
We'll see you in an hour. Tell us what your thoughts are on the D-Bot. Is it D-Bot or Debo? I think it's D-Bot. Like D-bot. robot, but D-Bot. D-Bot. Right. It's made in China. Made in China? Yep, made in China. Um, my friend told me it was Swedish, but it's made in China, so mm. it's made in China. And the really nice thing about it is the compartment for the dust is huge. Okay. Like it's really, really big. So I really love that aspect about it. So but pros, what are your pros. pros? The remote control is a pro, but most of them all have remotes now. It's Having fun. an app is a pro. Having an app is a pro. I definitely don't want uh, any type of vacuum that's like self-cleaning without an app. Mm-hmm. So you definitely want one with an app. I think the biggest pro for me is it's very quiet. Yeah, super quiet. The Roomba was loud and it may have been loud. The newer ones are probably much quieter, but this vacuum is pro- like a quarter as loud as the old Roomba that we had. And for me, I'm like sitting on the couch and editing. When the Roomba was running, it was really annoying. And now with this vacuum running, I can barely hear it. So that's nice. Actually, my favorite thing, I just thought of it. What? It has dual brushes. So what that means is it doesn't hit the walls. It senses uh... extremely well. And whenever it goes to the wall, it doesn't hit the wall because it doesn't have to hit the wall for the brush to clean up against it because they're very long. So it goes just like right next cool. to the walls. I mean, it still goes against things, but it doesn't like ram up on it. Whereas mm. our older Roomba definitely did. And I, I bet the newer ones don't have that problem, but the our Roomba also couldn't go from the hardwood onto the carpet. Oh, right. I remember you testing that out. Yeah. So this new one has no problem going from hardwood to carpet, carpet to hardwood. So it's off-road capabilities are good? Is that what you would Absolutely. say? Absolutely. <laughs> I would definitely say that. Because we don't have a lot of carpet in the house. It's mostly hardwood mm-hmm. and it can go from the hardwood onto the rugs. You like that about it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So are there any negatives that you would say? It gets stuck in corners. Oh. Yeah. It won't back up for some weird reason. It'll just get stuck. So where okay. the carpet meets the nightstand, I have like there's bed, nightstand, dresser. There's a nice little thing there. It always gets stuck in these two corners Mm. where like the nightstand and dresser are and then the nightstand and bed are. So I have to put a couple of pairs of slippers there or just one pillow. I just set it down there. That's irritating because it's gotten stuck there a few times. But even when it does get stuck, the remote, you can ping it so I can find Uh. out where it is or the app. You can use either or maybe it's just the app. But you can ping it to find it because the Roomba used to get stuck in weird right. places or die in weird places and you can just ping it. Found you. Cool. That's... And I could never find the Roomba. Any other cons? The cleaning brush. There's screws. I'm going to have to unscrew it every time I want to clean the spinning brush. Whereas the uh, Roomba just clipped open and you could take it out and clean it really easily. I gotcha. So that's not great. So I was incorrect. It definitely opens on the bottom. I just couldn't see the little arrows right there. The camera probably doesn't even pick them up, but bam, comes right out and then easy to clean. But besides that, would you say that value for money, it's as good as the Roomba, better? I don't have a new Roomba, but I would say that the new Roombas, I heard from reviews that they're much louder than the D-Bot. Aren't they also like five, 600 bucks? And yes, they're like four to $600, depending on which model you right. buy. I would say the d is better value for money because the Roomba could still get stuck in those same exact sure. corners. I'd have to like compare side by side. So are you happy with it? Are you gonna keep it? Keep it for 160. Keep it for 160. Cool. Excellent price. Would you pay an extra like two, three hundred dollars to get a Roomba? For I don't think it's worth an extra couple of hundred dollars. Okay, so the difference, even if it was, if the Roomba was a little bit better, it doesn't justify the extra expense. No, because gotcha. a vacuum is still a vacuum. All right, makes and sense. I would. I know that the Roomba has the same features on their app right. and the remote controls. So does like the Samsung vacuum. Right. So really it comes down to how well it gets over carpet and hardwood floors for us and sound and not getting stuck, which it's only that one corner in our house that gets stuck in. So let's give it a rating then. One out of 10, you can do points like Mm. (laughs) 2.5. Okay, only half points. How would you rate it? One being the worst, 10 being the best. What's our first Rally Roots review rating? I give it 
an 8.5 because 8. of it getting 5. stuck. Okay. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty yeah. good. If it didn't get stuck, it would get a 9.5 nice. just because the removing the bristle brush is very irritating and I have long hair. So. Well, there you go, guys. There's our review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully it helps you decide if you want to save time and time is money. We all know that you can spend that time listening instead of vacuuming. Maybe you should consider getting a robot to vacuum for you. <laughs> And again, guys, if you want to check out this particular model, there is a link in the description that you can click on and go check it out on Amazon. But thank you guys so much. By the way, if you guys have something that you want us to review, let us know in the comments. If you have a product that you want to send us to review, we will do that as well. This was not a paid advertisement or anything like that. We bought the vacuum. We paid 160 whatever dollars for it. Um, and the company, we have no affiliation with the company. But if you guys want to send us stuff to review, we would possibly do that. That's a fun idea. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. <laughs> see you guys later.